All right, everybody, welcome to another uh, quick video on CNC turning. This is uh, part two of the CNC turning series. Uh, part one, we went through a complete program uh, and uh, set up, we talked to zero, and then we ran a, a little turn diameter on the part. Now for this one, we are going to actually turn multiple diameters, okay? So uh, we're gonna use uh, a new, we're gonna go program. We wanna start a new program. Okay, so to do that, you go left soft key, program. And right now we're on program 16. So on the last video, we showed you how to start a program from scratch. On this one, we're gonna show you how to delete an existing program, okay? So you're gonna cursor down to the end, and then you're gonna go program edit, Turn the keys if you have to, edit keys. Program edit. And you're gonna go right arrows. And you're gonna go erase. When you go erase, the line it's on is blue. Now if you cursor up, look at this. Bam, 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 bam. Okay, we're gonna delete the whole thing except for the top header up here because we're using a steam stock size so we're going to delete all this by just hitting input bam okay now going up to the header right here again carbon steel od max is 2.5 that's the outside diameter id min is zero because there's no hole length is three inches and the work face is 0.1 okay we're not facing this one but i still have a 0.1 work face in there just for safety so that it comes in it rapids a little bit further away from the part. If you have a work face of zero, it rapids pretty close to it. It still builds a little safety amount in there, but not enough to, for me to feel safe. Okay, so we're gonna cursor down and you can pick what type of machining you wanna do. Now, since this is a lathe and a mill together, you have to pick if you wanna do milling or turning. So the third one over is turn, fourth one over is turning. Then there's several options you can do. You can do grooving, threading. Uh, we want to do a bar out. So we're going to do bar and we want to do out. Now, if you're doing boring, then you would do bar in. Okay. Again, when you hit bar out, you have to put your header in. So your header, your cut point X is your stock size. And again, if you don't know, you can look down here. It'll tell you what you're looking for. And hopefully it's still recording here. Because the screen shut off. Oh, sea jammer. Oh, okay. It's still going. All right, so oh, we have to find a way to keep the screen on. We to do that. This one's good. This one has to be like that. Okay. So our cup, sorry about technical difficulties there. So cup point next stock size, that's 2.5. Cup point Z is zero. That's where it's going to start cutting in zero. And finish allowance in X is going to be 30 thousandths, our tool radius. And finish allowance in Z, 5 thousandths. Okay, now after we do our header, we crush it down. Now is our tooling header. I'm going to roughen and finish tool it picked for us. So it's gonna do a general out, that's good. We'll keep that. Now nominal is gonna actually be 5.0. Um, and I'll do a video on that. But basically, a 5.0 nominal isn't the actual size of the tool. That's just the number that I gave it. Now in the tool data, I described tool five as a 5.0 wide tool. So it goes and picks it. All the nominal does Whatever you give it in the nominal, you have to describe that in the tool data and it'll go and pick that tool. Again, this is mixing a mill and lathe control together and they decided to use the mill portion right there, but we're using it as a lathe. Okay, 5A, that's good. Okay, number, that's the priority. Okay, pattern, you wanna go zero. What it's gonna do is feed in in Z and then feed up the back wall in X. 
Okay, now as soon as you get the carbide auto, you can hit it. That's going to auto set your depth of cut and feeds and speeds. So we're going to come back and make the depth of cut 60 thou. We're going to make our surface footage 400 with a feed rate of 0.012. Much better. Then we have to give it an M8 to turn the coolant on. Okay, now the finisher, we also want to use a five inch tool. And on the finisher, it asks for this finish X and finish Z. Is what that is, is that's an additional finish allowance if you want to leave grind stock or something like that. I always just have them zero. Okay, now look what popped up in the bottom. Carbide Auto. As soon as that comes up, you can hit Carbide Auto. It'll auto put the feeds and speeds in there. Okay, so we're going to change this to uh, 400. And change this to 0.008 for our feed rate. And M8 for the coolant. Okay, then we're going to come over here. Curse it on, and now for our actual program. Okay, so there's three portions. We had the header bar out, and we got the tooling header with our feeds and speeds, and now we're gonna do our bar out. Okay, so we're gonna do a couple different lines here. We're gonna do a linear, linear line, and we're gonna do a radius of 30, or a corner of 30 thousandths, and finish point X of 1.5. So we're gonna do an inch and a half turn, and our finish is gonna be 0 0.250. There's gonna be no final corner, Cursor to the right, and we're going to give it a feed rate, 0.008. Now, as soon as you hit enter, it puts another line down here. So, okay, so now we're going to do linear with another corner of 30 thousandths, and we're going to finish this one at 1.75. Our finish point Z is going to be 0.5. And it automatically remembers to put the .008 in. So you can go cursor down and start your next line. We're gonna do another linear. Another corner of 30 thousandths. This finish X is gonna be two inches. Finish point Z is gonna be .750. Cursor down, it's very intuitive. Another linear. Corner of 30 thousandths. Finish point X, 2.250. Finish point Z, one inch. Cursor down. Now we want to put a linear with a chamfer of 50 thousandths at our two and a half inch stock size. Remember the formula, it's our last Z plus our chamfer plus 30 thousandths. So one inch plus 50 thousandths plus 30 thousandths is 1.080. Curse it on one more time, and then we can hit shape end, and then end. Okay, so now that we're on program 16, we also want to go left soft key, position, work number 16. So that our program 16 and our work number 16 is on the same. So program 16, that's where you check it. You can't really see, but it's there. Program 16. Upper left hand corner, you go left soft key position, and you go work number 16 in the upper right hand corner. Okay, now we got to teach our Z zero, so we're going to go hand jog Z. We're going to hand jog up in Z. Hand jog down in X. And then Z, uh, we're going to put our piece of paper in there. We're going to come back in a couple minutes. Okay. Okay, now we came back. It's touching the face of the workpiece. And now we want to teach our zero. 
We're gonna go left soft key, set up. I'm gonna cursor down. We're gonna go teach zero input. Again, okay, you go left soft key, set up. Now notice when you go set up how the screen is 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 kind of clear like that. As soon as you go cursor down, it highlights pink and then it highlights your Z offset in blue. So you're gonna go teach. And it says Z offset teach right there, zero, and then input. You want to cursor down, our draw number is two, our grip diameter is 2.5, our tail stock is unused, and reference to tail stock is 22 inches. Okay, last thing we got to do is run it through simulation. So we're going to go left soft key, program, toolpath. And we're gonna go part shape. All right, then we're gonna go scale change. And we're gonna cursor up and then cursor over. And it's 0.73 and now so we're gonna go 0.4. Go part shape again. There we go, now it's nice and big. Okay, now we're gonna hit path continue. Path continues right here. And then it runs our part. So now that we've run it through simulation, and we have run it through, uh, now that we've run it through simulation, and we cut our zero, we wrote our program, now we're ready to shut the door, go to position, we're gonna turn our keys to run mode, we're gonna turn our rapid down, we're gonna turn our coolant off, we're gonna go into memory mode, we're gonna look at our remain right here. I know this is a lot, so you're gonna to wanna to pause the video, watch over. If you watch the first video in this series, I go through this much slower. And then we're gonna go cycle start, stop. Start, stop. As you're going start, stop, you're looking at the remain. Now you have to keep doing this because this builds muscle memory so that your hand starts to know exactly where the machine is. If you don't constantly go start, stop, and look at that number, you're gonna have no idea where the machine is and you're gonna crash it, mark my words. So start, stop, constantly looking in the machine, constantly looking at it to see how close it's getting, make sure it's in the right spot. Okay, now it's ready to start cutting. Okay, and Z, it's gonna make its cut in Z now. You look in there. So to do that, so you wanna check it, so you go handle, hand job. Open the door, and look in there. Look in there and make sure that it's okay to make it cut in Z. All right, it can go an inch and a quarter in Z. It's not gonna hit the jaws. There's no other tools that are not gonna hit. It's not gonna take some crazy depth of cut. So we're good to go. We're gonna go into memory mode, and we're gonna go cycle start. We're gonna let it run. Now, if you want, you can hit feed hold and look up at the remain, but it's not a good practice to stop the tool while it's in the cut. Now, if it's a matter of the machine crashing, then you can stop it. I mean, it's not that bad, but normally you don't wanna stop. Normally you don't wanna hit feed hold while you're in a cut like that. I'll give you an example. So I hit feed hold, it kinda chatters a little bit, okay? Not good for the insert, not good for the part, but if it's a matter of the machine crashing, you can go ahead and do it by all means. Don't be afraid to hit feed hold while it's in the cut. Okay, there it's doing its diameters now. Turn the wrap it up, turn the feed rate up a little bit. I got a important appointment to get to. Sorry about the glare, I'm gonna try and do something about that. Uh, maybe put up a little piece of cardboard or something, but hopefully you can kind of see the, the machine in there. Uh, cutting apart, putting that pretty pretty diameters on there. All right, so we machined our part. All right, we're gonna open the door, look in there, and voila, there's all of our different, there's our inch and a half, inch and a quarter, uh, two inch, two inch and a quarter, and two inch. There's our nice chamfers on there. Looks good, and uh, so there you go. That's uh, turning multiple diameters, and again, watch the first video in this series which is turn one diameter and i go through everything a lot slower a lot more in depth uh, please hit the red button to do the subscribe likes 
and like this video uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you can get my new videos coming out and look forward to the new podcasts coming and check for us on instagram and social media okay thanks bye bye